This is the F430 Challenge. A proper racing car. There will only be a hundred of them. And I'm literally the first person outside the factory allowed to drive it. Get in. It'll be used in a one-make championship. Lots of rich Playboy racers competing in identical cars. They cough up £170,000 and in return get a 430 challenge, seven races and transport. The F430 is no slouch, so it doesn't take much to make it a racer. You get the same V8 engine, but with lightweight carbon fibre bits and pieces. There are super sticky slick tyres to provide enormous grip and a Formula One paddle shift that's standard fit. But gone is the road car's wet or sports settings. You just get one. Race. The car weighs less than a basic VW Golf, but has seven times the power. Got a little booster seat, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> the millionaires who get to buy this car will be very lucky because I'll have run it in. I'm a bit disappointed with the noise, if I'm honest with you. Fantastic though that is, I really thought it would be even noisier and growlier. The steering is really beautiful, actually. It's so light, but it is just super precise. The suspension is much stiffer than the road car. I hope those brakes have warmed up. They have, a bit of a squeak. I would absolutely love to race one of these things. Can you imagine what it would be like when all sort of 20, 30 of you are all battling for the same piece of tarmac? I tell you, the power is just awesome. Put my foot down. Oh. It's almost taking my breath away. As I go over that crest there, it's just I sort of just jump in the air a bit, which is mega. I feel like I'm in a rocket ship. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm having the time of my life. I don't want it to stop. I don't want it to stop. I don't want it to stop. I don't This challenge model may be the most extreme 430 you can buy, and owners will only get to drive it a handful of times throughout the year and never on the road, but they'll have some serious fun doing it. Lucky devil.